Today we are going to explore the story of Shaquille Romero, a Muslim convert from South London. He shares his story about the issues he faced during his childhood and how converting to Islam helped put him on the right path. Shaquille's story begins at a very young age. He was just 11 years old when events transpired in his life that shaped the way his journey would play out in the coming years. Being the youngest of three siblings, Shaquille describes his childhood as being peaceful and without many problems. That all changed when his older brother got himself involved in a dispute with another family. Since the area of South London where Shaquille grew up is known for gang-related activity as well, the family had to take this situation very seriously. Shaquille recalls the events of the day that fundamentally changed his life vividly. He remembers how his mother was uncharacteristically serious when dropping him off at school that day. Shaquille was told to go to a friend's house after school, as his father and uncles would be coming around the house to resolve the situation with his brother. As he was playing football outside, Shaquille was able to overhear his mother calling the police for help over the radio. Upon discovering his family is in grave danger, Shaquille raced back to them. When he reached home, his mother told him to hide upstairs. Even from upstairs, Shaquille could overhear the tense conversations being had by the adults. He learns that some people are coming to their house and threatening his brother to come outside. Shaquille recalls seeing around 15 people get out from two cars that pulled up in front of his house. When this happened, it was dark out so he could barely make out what was going on. Suddenly, he heard two gunshots. Thankfully, his family was unharmed, and the police arrived shortly thereafter to dispel the situation. His father later describes the events that caused the two gunshots. He tells Shaquille that the individuals brandished the gun at him and fired, but missed. Then, that person handed over the gun to another individual, but the gun jammed and missed him again. Shaquille describes this as being a surreal moment, as he could have lost his father there and then. Over the next few years, this family dispute worsened. Shaquille and his family faced abuse from these individuals wherever they went. Understandably, this drove Shaquille to seek out coping mechanisms to better handle the situation and keep the anger that was festering inside him under control. At first, he looked to hip-hop artist 50 Cent for inspiration, as Shaquille saw him as a masculine ideal to strive towards. However, Shaquille's life changed when he was 15 years old. At this age, a lot of people in Shaquille's neighboring community had started to accept his stem, but he himself remained disinterested and hesitant. However, everything changed when Shaquille decided to go inside a mosque one day. He was greeted by the Muslims inside and was walked through the conversion process. This meant that Shaquille was officially a Muslim now. Still, as a young kid, Shaquille was quite immature and did not fully comprehend the religion he was following. He says that it took him a further two years, but at age 17 he fully embraced the religion of peace as his own. Shaquille says that the achievements of Osama bin Zaid were inspirational to him and gave him a positive role model to follow. This also cultivated a genuine interest about Islam in Shaquille. He now wanted to learn more about the religion and started following the five pillars more vehemently as well. Shaquille describes the feeling of peace that he gained by praying five times a day, and also says that this helped him establish connection to Allah, and made him more spiritual as a result. Shaquille also encourages others to explore Islam on their own time and because of their own curiosity, like he did. He believes that Islam has set him straight and has helped him overcome flaws in his character. He also stresses the importance of understanding and gaining knowledge about Islam, even if you don't plan on converting. Shaquille's story is truly inspirational, as it shows us how Islam can save a young, disenfranchised teen that could have easily fallen into evil deeds. We can see how Islam inspired Shaquille Romero to rise above his family problems and surroundings. If you are in a similar situation, Shaquille's story can serve as an inspiration to you as well.